this one was interesting to me uh, it's on a Windows package manager and it's spelled NPACD supposed to be pronounced as unpacted um, so anyways let me open it here uh, unpacted type in my password alright so here's the program and you know it's not as polished but I can forgive them for that because it's still new but um, if you ever look at a package manager before you can see that um, you know they have the name of it uh, the description and the versions and they also give you the status like whether it's installed or not I guess uh, so that's what they got there and you can actually you know still search it from here they have this little uh, search thing over here the text here right so uh, if I search for like maybe like games or something you see that it does filter it out okay so you don't have to like browse like all the way down uh, let's say you put video or maybe uh, audio right it does filter it out so that's pretty cool uh, it's like a real package manager um, and you know with a package manager you know you always have a repository associated with it so this one does have a repository I didn't believe that they have it but they do okay you're gonna file your settings and here's the repository this is how it looks like All right they have this uh, XML link I guess and they have uh, the install directory here okay now as far as the repositories they have a 32-bit one uh, 64 bit and they have an unstable one so you can check out their website uh, for those links uh, you know to enter it in but by default is uh, they give you this one I believe okay the one that I have right now uh, so that's that for the repositories uh, so let's get to installing one of these and see how it works okay so let's say you put uh, click on this one or something and we're gonna install it. So just highlight the one that you want and hit on install here. And we'll see how this goes. Alright, so that's it. It's installed. You can see that it says install right here. All right? Let me zoom in here. It says installed it. Uh so it should be in my menus. So let me check it here. There you go, it's in my menus. And there you go, it does work. Now what they recommend is that when you want to uninstall it you go back to this program and you select the one that you know you want to remove don't do it from your um, was it your control panel uh, remove program uninstall add and remove crap thing okay do it from here uh -huh. and if you want to remove it uh, you can do it here so if I say uninstall uh, there you go and just like that it should be disappear from here yeah it is it disappear uh... you can actually do updates but you know i don't have any programs to do the updates um, but they do have this option right here so whenever there is an update you can do that I'm not sure if that actually really works but um, it is there uh, another thing you can do is they have this um, go to the official page i guess so go to package page so this is the official website um, you know you can go read about it so that's pretty cool I guess um, and that is the program it's uh, you know I'm actually looking forward to it if it actually gets better but other things you can see is that some of them have logo and some of them don't kinda like the what was it the Ubuntu stuff right so that's it for this one. Check it out if you saw what you like. Okay, that's all.